Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to the Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. And you better keep these gloves up, I'm telling you right now, because it is tough out there, and they're throwing punches, and they're throwing punches. We got tagged just the other day, and I'll tell you what, we're not getting tagged no more because we got some magic in our gloves, and I'm going to show you some great shots that are going to make you want to put these gloves up, and it's going to teach you why you always keep your guard up. And if you're a good analyst and a good technician, that's all you need is to keep your guard up and keep throwing those punches and putting those trades out there, and you will see that it is going to help you. I want to show you some charts in a moment, traders. I think you're going to love what you're about to see next. So pull up a chair and grab a pen and take some notes because this is going to be a good one. Okay, traders. S&P March Daily Bar. I came on video two days ago and I said this will likely be the projection for the next 8 to 10 days and then the big downswing, right? I was brave enough to get in front of a camera and give you a projection because I was looking for this, this, and then this. Then the little rally, then the drop. Now, the drop started to come right away, but I'm going to show you a couple of charts now, and then I'm going to show you some magic after that, a reason why you better keep these gloves up at all times. I am going to show you now something that is going to make you really understand what analysis can do for you. Here's the chart that we thought would happen. Here's some reasoning why we thought that would have happened. Okay, what you are looking at now is the Australian dollar, and generally when you get an inverted head and shoulders, you get an up move like you see here. The market moves higher, creates another inverted head and shoulders, and you get another up move. Market moves higher and turns around and dumps. So you see that if you have an inverted head and shoulders and you're not quite in a bull market, this one's sort of bearish now. If you have an inverted head and shoulders, which normally would be a bullish signal, it's a temporary bullish signal. But it will normally give you a nice rally first, then the turnaround and the dump. We just witnessed that in the Australian dollar. Let's take a look at another chart. Next chart I want to show you are the Dow Jones transports. It's part of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, but it is the transportation stocks broken out of the entire average. They did just what we were looking for. Shoulder, head, Shoulder, inverted, of course, you have the upside down, inverted head and shoulders. It had the nice rally, traded sideways, and began to break. Just what we thought the S&P would have given us. That's two different markets now. That, that is pretty much the picture that we should have seen. But this is a fine art, not a science, so no one knows for sure what's going to happen. But as you can see, when you get an inverted head and shoulders like this one right here, generally you get the rally sideways slightly and the big dump. So that was a pretty good guess on our part that it would happen in the S&P. It did happen in the Dow Jones transports. So you do see, and I still believe every time I see one of these, I will trade it the same way. But I wanted to give you some reasoning behind the projection on that S&P chart. Let's look at more charts here. It's very interesting. One more chart that did pretty much the same thing was the ER2 or the E-mini Russell. You had the inverted shoulder, head, shoulder, had an up move sideways for a day and started to break, right? So it does make sense when you see those formations, you should try to trade them that way. But now, the reason why I told you that you better keep your dukes up and we got some magic for you, wait until you see this. This is a fantastic thing. A lot of traders who have been around me know about this formation. And we have them popping up all over the indice charts. Let's take a look, traders. The mirror image formation, it is one of the best formations I have ever come by in my life. It is something I have coined on my 21st year. I was 21 years old. I was in the business for about three years at that point in time. Maybe going on four years. And I stumbled upon... What I call the mirror image, it is one of the best formations you will ever find. Any of my Omniacs who come to short-term trading, they know all about this formation. And check this out. We got one of those mirror image formations right here. And the market was at 12.564 in the Dow. 
Look at what ensued after that. Crack, crack, crack. We went all the way to 11,951. That's 613 points, traders. 613 points on the mirror image formation. The market moved higher, and look what it created. Another picture-perfect mirror image as of Tuesday's trading. We have a mirror image for Wednesday. I love it, traders. I am telling you the direction is set. These mirror images work really, really well, and they're not just on the Dow Jones. Wait till you see where else it is. This is the Dow Jones March contract. It's either the EDJH on your trading platform or simply the DJH8. Take a look at it. It's the Dow Jones that's traded in the pit. I think you will notice the mirror image for yourself. If not, come on down to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. You can get there very easily by going to www.livewithoscar.com. Jump into the chat rooms, grab yourself a membership, and let me teach you how to use this mirror image. Traders, I am telling you, it is our patented formation. You will never read this elsewhere in books. This mirror image kicks butt when it comes to analysis. Let me show you more. As I said, they're jumping up all over the place. The March S&P chart had one right back here just a few weeks back. Mirror image, it looks just like the one I showed you now that we have in the Dow Jones presently. Look at the drop that happened. The mirror image signal came in right here. And look at the drop. Crack, 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 crack. What a fantastic formation. Easy to spot, and they work really, really well. Now here we have one. It's not picture perfect, but it's very close. Day one, day two, this is day three. The market has already given its direction. We are going to go lower than the previous lows, traders. You watch this mirror image work. It will give you minimum two straight down days when you find it on the downside. And, of course, it will give you two days on the upside when you find the upwards mirror image. These are downward mirror images, and I am telling you they work really well. Let's look at another chart here. Again, another indice chart. This is the NASDAQ chart. Look at that mirror image right there staring us in the face for tomorrow. This is Friday, Monday, Tuesday. We are, we're going down Wednesday. We're going down Thursday. And likely we're going down Friday. I always, always, always trade this mirror image formation when it gives me the signal. Another one right back here. One, two, three. That's the signal. And here's the break. One, two, three, four, five straight down days ensued. Again, the average that it's absolutely good for is two days. So we know we got the next two days. That's the magic right there, traders. This is what's going to help us make some money back. You know me. I keep my dukes up at all times. I keep throwing those punches. And this is why, because I can find things like this in the analysis, on the charts, and I know that it's a roadmap to where we're going next. So keep the faith, traders. Keep those dukes up. And let's get in this market tomorrow. Okay, traders. So you've seen the charts. You see it. I'm telling you, keep these up because you're going to need them. And if you're brave, you can get into this market. You will be able to trade those formations. You come on down to my site and we'll be here to help you get through these rough and tumble days. But for tomorrow... Being Wednesday, 20608, the 6th of February. Look at the red omnis we got running here. There's three red ones for the three indices that I found with mirror images. The SP for tomorrow, the ESH8 Omni says to sell in the mid to high 1350s. We're trading 1342 currently. Take a look at this thing when it gets somewhere up there to mid to high 1350s and kick some out up there. Put your stops in a sensible place. Place them first. Find out what size stop you can handle for your account. But I'm telling you right now, traders, this is no child's game that you're in right now. Do not, do not step up to the plate of a major league ballpark with a wiffle ball bat in your hands. It will not help you. You need a big stop here. I have noticed that the average stop level has gotten all the way out to almost 14 points to keep you in the safe zone. I am not telling you to place a 14-point stop, but I am telling you that it appears to me that the people who use a stop that big end up catching their move before the day's over. So for tomorrow, again, we're going to sell it in the mid to high 1350s. The Omni Profit Objective 
all the way down into the 13 teens, down into the teens. You're going to see this thing get somewhere below 1320. It will happen over the next couple of days. I think by Friday, possibly the 1290s. The 1290s, traders. That's where we're heading for. Those mirror images are on our side. Technical indicators have all turned. And you've seen those other inverted head and shoulders. Every time we see one of them, the market does go up. Sideways consolidation and crack. We couldn't even get the sideways consolidation. It just cracked in the S&P already. Now, the Dow Jones Transports did exactly that. It put in the inverted head and shoulders, went up, went sideways for a day or two, and cracked. That's what we expected the S&P to do. The Dow Jones Transports is the leader of the Dow Jones Industrials, just as the NASDAQ is the leader of the S&P in most instances. And we've seen the NASDAQ already start to go. So I think the signals are in place, traders. Don't be afraid of these trades. Put the trades on and keep your stops in and let this thing go. Keep your emotions out of it, all right? Do your homework on this. Tell me what you think, because I think what I just showed you is absolutely on target. So let's see what we get out of that. Remember, I said in the video just two days ago, do not fall in love with the upside. It was very short-lived. I thought we'd get a few days out of it. No one wants to hear about this upside. Oh, yeah, and get this. Get this, everybody, in TV land. You know what I heard today? You know, there's a slight possibility we might be in a recession. Oh, check that out. They finally started to figure this out. What scares me is by the time they figure it out, the bottom usually comes in. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I am assuring you, my analysis points to the downside here. All right, traders, at the Omni Trading Academy, we have open chat rooms for you. Do not trade alone. I put this up on every video. Never trade alone, traders. It is dangerous to be in a room by yourself typing orders in and trying to figure out what's going to happen. There is strength and unity. It is when you have numbers of people together all working in conjunction of one common goal, and that goal is to try to call these markets right, you are so much better off than trading by yourself. So come on down to our site. I'll give you that address again because we need you to come down there because we want to help you guys out. And that site is www.livewithoscar.com. Make sure you get there. Let me show you how to use these mirror images and make sure that you learn from what we have to teach you, traders, because we have a great deal of lessons to give out every day. We hold a class just about every day where we lend out our desktop to you and show you right on your own computers what charts we're looking at, what indicators we're looking at. In fact, before this video, I just held one in my chat room at night for a whole bunch of traders from around the world. We don't just hold them in the day. Now we're starting to hold them at night as well. And you can really, really learn from these lessons, traders. So come on down, get yourself a membership, and come to class every day. Just like back when you were in university or in high school or wherever you were educated, you had to do your homework. You had to come to class every day. Well, this is no different. This is a tough game, traders. You come to class, you do your homework, you work hard at this, and you will get very good at calling these markets. All right, traders. I tell you this in every video as well, to send me your homework, and so many Omniacs do, and I love the homework, I love the give and take behind it. What I mean by that is, pull up a chart, see if you find a mirror image, or a flag, or this or that. And by the way, speaking of flags, we have also a bear flag formed in the S&P and in the E-mini Russell, so take a look at that. But what I meant about homework is, find the chart, see if you find something on that chart that you think is a formation, Type a little blurb on that chart and email it to me, and I will evaluate that chart and send you back a message. I send back a message on every bit of homework I receive every evening. And shoot me those emails at oscar at futuresanalysts.com. Make sure you do that, traders. I will certainly get back to you. Again, we have 200 and Mikey, what do you got for us? 68. Oh, 268. We got finally we got an answer from you. Thank you, Mikey. 268 videos, a lot like this one with technical analysis techniques like the ones I just showed you. You can find them on YouTube. We have a YouTube spot there with all of those videos. You can also find them on our site, but if you don't know how to find that even, go to our YouTube spot. It's www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. There you can subscribe to the videos, and then you can start doing your own education, look through those videos, and get your butts down to the site so we can help you out. All right, traders, 
I think I've just about covered everything here. Guys, did I miss anything? Seems like you got it, man. Got everything? Um, last but not least, Mikey, thanks for that little message there. Telephone number. If you'd like to give me a phone call, we are there day or night. There's always someone to answer your calls. The number is 702-629-4755. Okay, traders, do your homework. Get ready for tomorrow. And don't forget to say this to yourselves every day, especially when you got those dukes up because you're going to need it when those gloves are out. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.